Where do you think all of our water comes from? A lot of it comes from underground. That's right. Not only is our water found in lakes, rivers, or streams, most of it is found underground. Follow me to check out where our groundwater flows. Let's go. Hey, I want you to meet somebody. Hi, Ken. Hey, Shabi, how's it going? Pretty good. Ken is a hydrogeologist or a groundwater expert. So, Ken, how does water flow underground? Well, Shabi, a lot of people think that water flows in underground rivers or streams, but that's not really true. Actually, it flows very slowly through the cracks and spaces between sand grains or cracks through rock, almost like going through a sponge. Let's check this out up close. Water is stored in different layers of rock, soil, or sand called aquifers. The water flows through and is stored in these aquifers and makes its way to the surface through wells, natural springs, lakes, and streams. So, Ken, how much of our water actually comes from underground? Over all of Wisconsin, at least half the water that people use for drinking, farming, and industry comes from groundwater. And in parts of Wisconsin, all the water that people use comes from groundwater. So what happens when you need groundwater? You drill a well. Let's take a look. The person who determines where a well should be drilled is called a hydrogeologist. The hydrogeologist estimates the level of the water table to see how far down they have to drill the well. A water table? What's that, you ask? It refers to the level of water underground. Remember, there are different types of aquifers at different depths underground. So how deep you have to drill depends on how high the water table is within each aquifer. Some areas have a higher water table, meaning the water is closer to the surface, so you don't have to drill as deep. Now that we know how a well is drilled, let's see one up close. Come on. Well, Ashabi, this is where the water is stored. You're kidding. No, the tanks like this hold about half a million gallons of water. Can we go take a look? Sure, let's go. Cool. Well, we're inside the water tower now, and the water is stored way above our heads, up, up above that floor that you see. These two pipes bring the water in and out. One pipe goes out to the homes and businesses that use the water. The other one brings water in from the pump house. Where's the pump house? Right behind us. Let's go see. Well, Shabi, we're inside the pump house now. And this is about the most important part of the whole water supply operation. This is, this is the well and the pump that pumps the water. The well underneath this pump house is about 1,500 feet deep. The incoming groundwater travels through the pipes to the water tower where it's stored. When water is drained from the tower, the water table in the well is lowered. When this happens, the water table needs to be replenished, or as we say in the business, recharged. How does the water get back into the ground? Well, the, the groundwater comes from rainfall or snow melt that soaks into the ground. If you come outside, I can show you a little experiment. We can see how that works. Sure. Hey, Shabby, let's do a little experiment. If I take some water from this hose and put it on this uh, lawn here, where do you think it'll go? I guess directly back into the ground. Let's see. See how it's soaking in there? As it, moves, as, it, as it soaks in, it'll eventually percolate down and recharge the aquifer. Well, Shabi, you've seen what happens when we put water on the, on the grass here. Let's see what happens when we put it on pavement. Sure. See how it just runs off the pavement and doesn't soak in? Yeah. So the more pavement we have, the less chance we have to recharge the groundwater. Well, it definitely makes sense, Ken. I hope you have a better understanding as to why conserving water is so important. So make sure that you don't use more water than you need. That way we'll have plenty for everyone. This is Ashabi saying see ya. Portions of the preceding program were co-produced by the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources and Discover Wisconsin Productions as part of the children's television series, Into the Outdoors.